Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Ukraine. It is five o'clock in the morning right now. I don't know what currency they use here. I don't know what the exchange rate is. I don't even know if my debit card works, but I know that this is day one of living on $100. So let's put $100 up here and let's see how long we can make this last in Ukraine. Let's go. The first thing that we need to do is we actually need to go to town. The bus that I took to get here to Ukraine left me in the middle of nowhere. I'm not sure if they use Uber here or if I'm just gonna be walking to town, but it's about four miles away. I'm sure I can walk that far. It's just really cold outside right now. So I am definitely not walking. They don't have sidewalks here and I am not about to go walk down a Ukrainian interstate at night without a sidewalk. But maybe this gives us an opportunity to see how much ride hailing services cost like Uber. Let's see how much it costs to get an Uber here. You can see here that they don't use Uber or Lyft. They have their own little uh, car hailing services. I think it's called Bolt. But the first time I tried to hail a ride, I actually failed because I was apparently paying in cash. So I had to cancel that. Then I came back, put my card information in, and now I've got a car coming here to come pick me up in about seven minutes. And we're gonna find out if my card works. It is so cold outside. I do not recommend taking night buses because then you will get to the place you're going to. You won't be able to check into the hotel and you're just gonna need to wait until it gets warmer. So this was not very, very smart on my part. It's real cold. <sighs> okay. Oh my God, that guy was amazing. He gave me a tour of like all of the places we passed as we went through. And I have some, I have some places I wanna go visit now. Do you guys wanna go visit the oldest prison in Ukraine? It's still active, it's still got prisoners in it. Um, we're gonna have to remind me to do that later. But the entire trip cost me $5.01. So that means that this is how much we have left. That is pretty steep, that's like 5% of our entire budget, but well worth it because it was a pretty long drive and it's cold outside. It's just dawning on me right now that I can't read a goddamn thing. Like in Poland, they at least used the same letters we did so you could kind of tell what they were saying, but I cannot read that at all. The first thing we need to do in every country is compare the price of McDonald's. So let's go get breakfast. I got a chicken wrap and a Coke, and this was $4.02. I am exhausted. I didn't get sleep last night because I was waiting for the bus. But holy crap, McDonald's is expensive. Four dollars? That's like Los Angeles, California pricing. We can't be going to McDonald's for food anymore. We have to go to like grocery stores. We have to get our food from like Whole Foods. We have, we have to like get Whole Foods, not the store, not the brand. We have to like, McDonald's is expensive. One of the first things that becomes readily apparent to me coming to Ukraine is how much more seriously they take wearing masks than Poland did. People in Poland did not wear masks at all. I'm surprised at how much more seriously they take this here in Ukraine. I would not have expected that. I would have expected Ukraine to be like the Alabama of Europe. And it's not, it's the California. You cannot even get into the country without purchasing uh, health insurance in case you get COVID. Like I, they literally, I had to buy it at the border. I had to open up my phone and I purchased a health care plan before they would even let me in the country. So it's impressive, honestly. We are gonna spend a little bit of extra money because I wanna show you guys how I order food when I can't read anything off the menu. Go get it. What are the chances you speak English? Burger. Beef. So we have a real problem here. All of my cards start to decline for that, all of them. Um, and I checked with my bank, they're not even getting marked as declined. They're not even going through to my bank. So there's something wrong with the terminals here in Ukraine that is stopping my cards. Visa, MasterCard, I can't pay for things. We're gonna go to my hostel. We're gonna see if I can actually like get a room for tonight. If that fails, then wow, this gets bad. I paid for McDonald's this morning. So it has nothing to do with the fact that I'm in Ukraine or that I'm using Ukrainian currency. It's just something with their terminals. Okay. If my cards don't work here, then that is really, really bad. Oh my God, okay. So I was able to get a place to sleep tonight. My card did work. So that means that only certain vendors here in Ukraine don't accept my cards. Um, don't know why. But that means I'm probably gonna need to start carrying cash with me. So I will address that tomorrow. I was able to get the hostel. This was $6.37 for the night. You guys want a tour? You guys want to see what a hostel looks like in Ukraine? This is my bed. It's got... 
There's an outlet right there so I can charge stuff. There's a couple other people in here. There's only one person here tonight. So you've got your bathrooms, sinks. There's a washing machine here, so we're gonna do some laundry later. Looks like somebody's using it right now. Oh, look at that. I've never seen one of these things, like a working hand dryer before. It's kind of interesting. Now let's go ahead downstairs and check out the kitchen. It's got all the things you'd imagine, microwave. I think this is coffee, sugar, tea, utensils, all of the stuff you would need if you wanted to cook. I should probably do that. I should probably like, try cooking from home. Get some like potatoes and like, make a meal or something. I think that'd be cool. Nice little space here. While I was editing this video, I just checked my YouTube stats. Look at this, look at this. I have 4,000 watch hours, which means I can apply for monetization now. I won't get it immediately, but I'm like two or three days away from being able to get paid to make YouTube videos. I am just exhausted from waiting for my bus. I was up all night last night, so I'm just gonna go to sleep. That is the end of the first day. We have $84 left. Um, we're not gonna be burning money as fast as we did today because we're not gonna be using Ubers anymore and we're not gonna be eating McDonald's. So hopefully we can knock that number down. But I just wanna remind you guys that if you click this title right here, you can go back a day. If you click this title right here, you can see the next day. So you can just like scrub through all of the days if you wanna see it. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.